Hi viewers, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to explain about Shannon Fanner coding. Shannon Fanner coding is one of the data compression technique. There is an another coding called Huffman coding. These two codings are used to compress the data. So I'll, I will make an another video on Huffman coding also. In this video, we'll see an, an example problem on Shannon Fanner coding. So. So let us see this example problem step by step. So this is the question. The probabilities will be given like this. These are in fractional part. Most of the time the probabilities will be given in fractional part. So for our convenience, I have converted them into the decimal part. So for 1 by 4, it is 0 0.25 and 1 by 16, it is 0 0.0625. And there is a condition that sum of probabilities must be equal to 1. So whatever question given to you, you must check this condition first at the whether the given values, the cumulative value of these probabilities are equal to 1 or not. So the uh, probabilities which were given must satisfy this condition that sum of probabilities must equal to 1. So this is the question given. So actually this is in a fractional part. You may face the question in fractional part only. So for our convenient for making the calculation easier, I am converted this fractional part into decimal part here. And then so make a table like this. And uh, these are the symbols which were I as I assign this to these probabilities. So I have arranged in the form of H1 to H8 and uh, in exam question paper they may give the symbols or may not. You can take any variable like H, A, B or anything and then after making the table like this, so symbol, probability, code and length, arrange the given probabilities in descending order. So the most maximum probability must be so arrange an upper and uh, and go it goes in descending order and the least probability will be like this down. So after arranging them in descending order according to the probabilities the symbols must be arranged like this. So the top uh, probability is 0 0.25 and the uh, assign symbol is H1 and the least probability is uh, 0 0.0625 that is given as H7. So you can see that uh, 0 0.25 is for uh, symbols H1 and uh, H6. So H1, H6. So uh, after arranging these uh, probabilities in descending orders, uh, we'll uh, arrange a uh, code like this. Mean uh, for a, if you see this, uh, divide this into equal probabilities. So first of all. Uh, on adding these two, we will get 0 0.5, 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25, we get 0 0.5 and, and adding the remaining probabilities 0 0.125 and all this will get 0 0.5 and this is called as equal probability. On dividing this as equal probability, we will get like this. So 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 that is 0 0.5. So we will arrange a 0 for this and rest of these probabilities will arrange 1. And then, so in this, the top prob the top priority will be given to this. So assign zero and uh, one to this. And next, we'll go to name. So it is zero point one two five. And so if we add uh, zero point one two five and zero point one two five, we will get a uh, zero point two five. And Mm, the adding adding upon these four zero point zero six two five will get zero point two five. So this is equal probability here again. Uh, then arrange zero and uh, zero to these and uh, assign one to remaining all. And then assign. So again here the priority should be given to the first one. So zero and one. Next. Here again, we will divide this into equal probability. So 
assign 0 to here, 0 and 0 here and 1 here and then again here it gets the top priority so 0 and 1 and later remaining these two pro probabilities so we will directly assign 0 and 1 here. So this is the code and next code length is nothing but uh, how many binary digits here we get is called code length. So here it is 2, 2 and then 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4. So this is the table. So first uh, we arranged the probabilities in descending order, later on dividing equal probabilities. Uh, we assign these uh, uh, codes and then uh, code length is seen. Then we will go for finding the efficiency. For finding the efficiency we have to find the entropy and uh, code length. So let us see. So efficiency is calculated in a percentage. So eta, eta equals to h by l where eta is a symbol for efficiency and h is for entropy l is for code length so here we have a formula for entropy entropy h equals to sigma k equal to 0 to n pk log s2 1 by pk where pk is the probability and here log base 2 indicates that uh, we are making this uh, entire process in binary so here it is base 2 so this is the formula whereas pk is probability sigma k equal to 0 to n so here we have uh, 8 probabilities in the question given so the total number will be from 0 to 7 so uh, arrange the probabilities like this mean uh, so pk is probability given and again here it i i have done the process in a uh, fractional part because it is easier to make the calculation in fractional so if you see we have uh, two times here 1 by 4 so you if you identify you can uh, directly uh, write like this mean uh, uh, instead of uh, writing all this you can directly write this so we have uh, 1 by 4 log base 2 one of 4 two times here so you can write it directly and uh, 1 by 16 log base 2 of 16 is of 4 times so you can directly write this step and next uh, if you see it is a 4 we can convert it into 2 square whereas uh, this this term goes here and uh, multiplies here so it, it becomes 4 into 1 by 4 and uh, log base 2 of 2 becomes 1 so log base 2 of 2 becomes 1 and on calculating this we will get uh, so 4 of 1 by 4 equals to 1 and this goes off and it, it is a 6 by 8 and it is 1 again so on calculating this we will get a so here we get 2.75 uh, bits per symbol so you have to represent this units bits per symbol do not forget to uh, give the units a uh, bits per symbol and if you see uh, instead of making all this calculation you can easily make with the calci i'll show how to make the process with the calci so take a calculator so uh, so i'll, I'll uh, arrange an equation in it uh, so h log h inverse divided by log 2 so so i arranged this equation I will explain it here so it is a h log h inverse divided by log 2 so why I arranged this in in this manner means so if you see it is a pk log 2 1 by pk so it is pk inverse so I arranged as h log h inverse and then why it gets a log base 2 so uh, in calci you cannot uh, calculate a log base 2 so if you want to calculate of log base 2 you have to calculate a log 10 of log 10 by log 2 log base 10 of log by log base 2 so it is like formula log of a b equals to log b by log a 
So on our arranging in this manner, after arranging this uh, equation, press the Calci button and enter the probabilities here. So one divided by four will get 0 0.5. And we have two times of 0 0.5 here cause a uh, 2 into 1 by 4, right? So two times of 0 0.5 that is equal to 1. So we get it here. And then uh, press the calci button again and give 1 divided by 16. So we'll get 0 0.25. We have four times of uh, uh, 1 by 16, right? So again, we get 1 here. And then give 1 divided by 8 so it is 0 0.375 so we have 2 times of uh, 1 by 8 so we will get this thing so 6 divided by 8 6 divided by 8 is 2 of 0 0.375 so 2 times of 0 0.375 is 0 0.75 so check it 6 divided by 8 0 0.75 so we will get the same value so you can uh, uh, <coughs> save time here uh, by calculating all this you, you you will take maximum time so more time if you make this process in calcium you, you can minimize the time and then uh, after uh, calculating uh, entropy we have to calculate the cold length so cold length uh, finding cold length is uh, easy nothing but uh, uh, multiplying the probability and uh, the cold length the length of the code you got here so it is 0 0.25 into 2 plus 0 0.25 to into 2 and uh, so on so in plus 0 0.0625 into 4 so this is the thing uh, multiplying the probability with the cold length and you will get the same value as a 2.75 bits per symbol so the finally the efficiency equals to entropy by code length so 2.75 by 2.75 that gives us a 1 and efficiency is measured in a percentage so eta percent equals to 100% so as it is 1 the efficiency is 100% and you have to remember uh, that uh, the value will not exceed then 1 so it may be below it may be below 1 but it, it should not exceed 1 because the efficiency could not exceed a uh, more than 100 percent so if you uh, if you got the value above one then the process you have made is wrong you have to recheck uh, the entire process so that's it this is shannon fan coding and uh, i'll as, I, i'll even make a video on a uh, huffman coding and uh, more examples on shannon fan coding so if you like my explanation please do like and uh, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, forget the uh, and uh, Press the bell icon to get the instant notifications. Thank you for watching.